afternoon, whenever you're watching this Brujas, and welcome back to my channel. As usual, it's your girl Mochi the Pastel Bruja, aiding you in your spiritual journey. One pastel post, podcast, YouTube video, however I can get it to you at a time. Welcome back to my channel, and we're here to unbox yet another deck. Today we are unboxing the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck. I'm super excited about this deck because I love y'all. I have been holding out from opening it, but I got it on Valentine's Day, which was about four or five days ago and i've been dying to open it up because i love the art it's by amanda lovelace it's a beautiful simple oracle deck not a tarot deck but the art you can see a little glimpse of it here is so beautiful as i said i got this as a gift from my love on valentine's day which is super sweet so not only is it something i wanted but it was a super sweet gift as well so Thank you anyway <laughs> moving on well before we open yeah as you can see i'm eager to open it but we got a little bit of holographic action is this holographic no it's just like a shimmery metallic vibe on the box you can see it here here nothing too crazy so like i said it's by amanda lovelace and the artwork is by jayana medeiros i hope i'm saying that correctly but nonetheless let's open the beauty so we have a white sheet of paper protecting the cards but before we get into the cards we have a guidebook it seems it got stuck okay here we go oh the back of it is so cute I love okay so we have the guidebook it looks like the front of the box and it does give you some questions for the box I mean for the car to so like spreads for the cards and it tells you about the cards it's not full color but I'm not too uh, I'm not too picky about full color I think I mentioned that in an, an unboxing a while ago you gotta do what you gotta do so let's let's get into what i'm really eager about these cards they're so pretty look at the beautiful so this is the card the princess that is on the front of the box evil queen tower Mirror. they're so pretty i love them so they are quite a big they're big cards Ooh, look at that one the artwork is super pretty and detailed and even though they oh, i love this one too but i was gonna say even though they are kind of big they seem to be already very easy to shuffle like i can just we're going to use that as our message because it flew out, but I caught it. But, yeah, buttery. They're a lot buttery than, more buttery than the Affirmators unboxing we just did. So, for it to be the, oh, God, we have three coming out of here. Apparently, this deck is a, has messages already. So, we're going to just look at those three that came out, and they'll give us an opportunity to look at the guidebook. So, so same video different day because i ran out of space on my phone so i put the cards that plopped out when i was doing the first half of this video and i'm going to share them with you now when i have more space thank goodness so we the first the card we have is confidence and it says it comes with time and practice it seems like everywhere around you, people are chattering about how confident they are and just how freeing it feels. You wish you could relate to them, but you haven't gotten there yet. Listen, it's all right. Confidence is not an instant or overnight evolution. Just like everything else, it takes time, practice, and a lot of unlearning of toxicity. So take your time with your confidence, Brujas. And then we have nostalgia. Ooh, Sage, you're knocking over the freaking already wobble leaves tripod. It says focus on the here and now, which seems to be a reoccurring vibe 
that I'm pulling like in readings for the podcast and over on Instagram. But as it says here, it says you're spending the majority of the time daydreaming, wondering what could have been if only things had gone the way you wanted. By doing this, you aren't giving yourself a fair chance. Truth is, there's nothing you can do to change what happened, no matter how many scenarios you craft in your mind. Make improvements to your present, not your imaginary, and be sure to nurture what you've been given. So pay attention to the present, Brujas, not the past, not the future, the right now. Last card we have here is Storm, and it says every hurricane comes to an end, and it says just when you thought things were taking a turn for the better in came a hurricane of hurt now you find yourself utterly exhausted from trying to survive it all rest assured the clouds are finally starting to part making room for the much needed sun the clouds like the clouds you should also let go of the past or present pain in order to make room for something better so better times are coming this is definitely how i'm feeling right now this is definitely for me i hope you found these cards insightful i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit that like button that subscribe button and as usual stay beautiful keep shining and i will see y'all next time